Gareth is in Bow. Gareth, good evening. What's your question? Hello, Daniel. My question is, in 1994, a developer built a um, small development of 20 townhouses, three-storey, with a, an integral garage. And um, some of the residents have converted their garages into living accommodation, so they've lost the garage. Um, when we bought these properties, the developer had a restrictive covenant to prevent people parking or use um, parking the car on or around or outside the property unless they were unloading or doing um, deliveries and that kind of stuff. Um, and it's only now in 2020 that a neighbour, one neighbour out of the whole of the 20 properties has decided to um, take us to court because we are breaching the restrictive covenant by allowing or parking um, cars outside of the garage. Now, in some cases, some people cannot be, uh, can't use the garage because they've converted it. And I want to know, can we remove this restrictive covenant which has really fallen out of use for that particular area? It, nobody does it anymore. Nobody can even get their car into the garage. The When they were built, they were very small. Yeah, I understand the issue, Gareth. Of course you can remove it, but it can only be removed by agreement. By okay. agreement between all of the tenants of the 20 townhouses and, and the freeholder, the landlord. So if everyone agrees, fine. Uh, it's just a simple deed of variation which you, you lodge at the land registry. Um, and it's done. It's sorted. Now, what you might have to do, uh, because I suspect if one neighbour is is complaining and you said taking you to court, uh, yeah. you may have to pay them some money to buy them out if you want to get their agreement. Because they are entitled to say, look, your property has a restrictive covenant. We're, we're expecting you to stick to it. A judge won't always grant an injunction to enforce that sort of restrictive covenant if the judge thinks mm-hmm. that an injunction would be overkill. But the tidiest mm-hmm. thing to do, the tidiest and neatest thing to do would be for the other 19 of you uh, to get together and, and just put a little bit of money in a pot and buy this recalcitrant, um, difficult neighbour out and, and pay them a few thousand pounds to get them to sign a piece of paper. Would that be an answer right. that would work for you, Gareth? Uh, yes, it would if we can get them to do it. That's something I'll investigate. Thank you very well, do, much. Do do that. And also keep on listening because uh, later in this hour, I'm going to be talking to Vernon Hadida, who's an expert on mediation, and he's going to be talking about mediation between neighbours and how that can help. So you should be able to pick up some useful tips there, Gareth. Will do. Thank you. That was included in the solicitor's letter that this chap had um, sent out to us, something about uh, mediation. So I'll definitely listen in. Thank you, Daniel. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Gareth. Uh, Ashling is in Bromley. Ashling, good evening. 